May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala enhance in our relationship together. May Allah keep us always uh, under the worship of Allah and under the flag of La ilaha illallah, Muhammad Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Today we talked about the, the tyrant king, the oppressor, Nimrud, Nimrud, and how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had destroyed his kingdom. Um, usually we talk Friday night about some reflections on the topic of the khutbah. But actually I want to start it differently this time because I want to take your opinion and, 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 and learn from you what's the best thing that you have liked about the story of the Nimrod. Because we talked about many things. Number one, uh, the, the argument with Sayyidina Ibrahim, when he asked, also when the Nimrod asked for the tower to be built so he can shoot the heirs. And we talked about how Allah had destroyed him. So from these things, what is the, well, like, what is the thing that captured your mind? Don't be arrogant. The mosquito. Okay, okay, okay. What else? From this side, we need an answer from this side. Allahu it, Akbar. It, it doesn't matter what, what kind of power you have. Allah is more powerful. Okay, what else? We need more answers. Yes. Allahu Akbar. The more that you lower your wings, Allah will raise your status. Okay, do you have anything here? <laughs> yes, we said that today. Power corrupts. Power corrupts, especially with the kings. Okay, what else? Did you did you think or did you ponder on the plan of Allah? How Allah destroyed him with the mosquito? That is actually a big lesson for all of us. And it didn't happen only with the Nimrud, but in many occasions. Okay, from, from Alhamdulillah, all of you, Alhamdulillah, are knowledgeable, Alhamdulillah, enough. Do you remember Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam when he was in the night of migration from Mecca to Medina? And they surrounded his house with 40 men with their swords. How did Allah save the Prophet Muhammad? How did Allah save him? He slept in the sleep, but, but, but he slept in replacement of Rasulullah. But how Rasulullah came out? Did Allah send Jibreel to take him? So Allah made them all to sleep. And even opening their eyes, but they couldn't see. You see, Dr. Yusuf, Brother Ismail is answering all the questions. What happened? Bro? Yes. So, okay. Well, I'm waiting for you, actually. Okay. So, the plan of Allah, if you said, okay, Allah has the authority of the angels, so Allah can send one of the angels to carry him on his wing, and that's it. Okay. Another point. Musa, alayhi salam, Sayyiduna Musa, Kalimullah, during his time, Fir'aun used to kill kids. Boys he used to kill boys, okay, and for that to be for him to be saved, <clears throat> what is the best thing from your mind? The best thing to stay away from Fir'aun. Allah said, No, I will let the basket to go to the, the palace of Fir'aun. Not only this, Fir'aun himself will raise him up. So Musa will be raised in the palace of the tyrant king, the tyrant person who is killing babies. You see, that is the plan of Allah. You might see, that's why the scholar said, Inna Allah idha arada nashra fadilatin tuwiyat ataha laha lisanu hasud. If Allah wanted to spread something virtue, something precious, Allah will make an enemy to talk against it. Yes. 
Yeah, he, Harun was with his mom. And actually, Harun was saved of something. When Fir'aun was fed up or a little bit, some of the advisors said, if you are going to kill all the babies, we will have no progeny, no generations to come. So they suggested to kill one year and to stop the other year. Harun was born at that year that, that they stopped killing at. That's why he survived and he stayed with his mom. But Musa alayhi salam, that is what happened. My question or my point was, if Allah wanted to spread something people did not pay attention to, Allah will make an enemy to attack it, then it will be spread. I, I'm sure you have heard the news about lots of people nowadays are reverting to Islam because of what is going with our brothers and sisters in Palestine. Isn't it right? And you saw by them by yourselves, lots of celebrities, lots of TikTokers, lots of YouTubers are reading Quran. And, and recently I have seen a, a woman, she said, I am an atheist. I'm an atheist, but I cannot stop myself from reading Quran. There is something is pulling me towards the Quran. All of that happened after. Yes, the tragedy, what happened, it was, it, it is so painful for all of us, but there is some goodness within those pain, painful situations. That's why I remembered today when Allah said, Inna ma'al usri yusra, along with the tribulations, Allah will send ease. These good news, that's why whatever, and even some, some places, Lots of people wanted to take Quran. They don't have enough Quran to give. Like everything. People stopping by the masajid, by the Islamic centers, asking about Islam. What kind of Islam that makes those people so resilient to the point that they have that much of Iman? What happened? And that actually is astonishing for all of us. Because Allah wanted for that deen to be spread, Allah will make an enemy to attack that. So that will make more people to read. And that's why I like that statement of one of the scholars. He said, Inna al-Islam Allah. Islam is the religion of Allah. Ida harabu ishtad. Wa ida taraku imtad. If they started to fight Islam, Islam becomes more stronger. And if they left Islam without fighting, Islam is going to spread. So there is no way. There is no way in both ways. That's why, Alhamdulillah, I'm telling you, that's not my work. That's not your work. That's the work of Allah. That's the plan of Allah. Exactly like what he did with Moses when he was in the basket. Now you can think about it. Moses in the basket, and the basket was, Allah had ordered the river to carry the basket into the doors of Fir'aun. The basket could stuck somewhere. Somebody else could take the basket. But that's, that is what we call it, Inayatullah. Allah's plan and vision and Allah's sight. Allah's protection is taking care of the basket. And I told you one of the verses that actually it grabbed my heart. And I was reading like just three, three days ago in, uh, during the Fajr Salah. Allah, I swear by Allah. Like I told my wife about this ayat. For me, I thought this is the first time I read this ayah ever. Like, alhamdulillah, I memorized the Quran when I was 10 years old. So since that time, I'm revising Quran daily, alhamdulillah. But for me, it was as if the first time I read it. What Allah said, Allah, after Fir'aun and his wife took the basket, Allah immediately in the Quran said, 
وألقيت عليك محبة مني الله I have sent to you immediately passionate love from me from Allah himself normally the kid the baby gets the passionate from whom from the mother now Allah knows the psychology that the feelings of the baby the baby had just left the mother and the basket was in the river the river with the waves and all of this that makes the baby scared so what the baby needs before the food comfort he needs comfort security allah said once they picked up the basket wa alqaytu alayka mahabbatan minni allahu akbar that's number 1 i sent mahabba you know mahabba in urdu mahabbat okay i i i sent mahabba to your heart that mahabba not from anyone except allah so you can feel now the heart of musa alayhi salam but you might be worried when you recite quran but imam how come firaun firaun will raise up musa he must he must make him a killer the next ayah wa litusna'a ala you will be made you will be raised up under my watch so whatever bad things that firaun is doing in the palace allah will make musa not to get it yes he is in that place but who is taking care of him who is watching him that's why lots of fathers when they come and they imam we are so worried about my kid he he went to another university and he is uh, i'm scared he might lose the way he might go astray bad company bad friends i tell them did you raise him up good yes imam that's it just make the dua to allah and allah will save him that's not me we 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 don't we don't raise up our kids we don't literally practically we don't raise up our kids without allah we cannot raise them up by ourselves we will fail but me make dua to allah and that's why they said في المصري في العربي they said مالك ما ربي قال من عندي من عند ربي so they said how did you raise up that child he said that's not me that's Allah okay that's the proverb that we say how did you raise him up that's only Allah سبحانه وتعالى وليتصنع على عيني that's number two number three who is missing the baby the mom how the mom will go to the palace of the tyrant king she is not allowed they have guards so allah made them made the tyrants to go to the mom to negotiate with her and beg her to accept to come the baby and not only this she is going to be paid <laughs> allahu akbar look at the plan of allah that's why you might be in a in, in a financial difficulty and you say you know what there is no outlet no there is outlet there is outlet from your point of view maybe there is no outlet but there is allah that's why you read now you taste this ayah differently when allah said in surah at-talaq wa may yattaqillaha yaj'al lahu Whoever has taqwa of Allah, Allah will find an outlet for him. Who will find? Or, or not, not you, not me. Logically, rationally, systematically, theoretically, there is no outlet. But from Allah, there is an outlet. Do not worry. And not only this, and He will provide him with from such means that he never anticipated allah 
Allah will provide you risk from sources that you never imagined. What is that? That is the plan of Allah. That's why Nimrud, you, you might think Ibrahim is so young. Now, and Namrud, and Namrud, like he gets, he gets that massive army, that power. How could, how going Allah will kill him, or how going Allah will destroy his kingdom? Then the answer is Muskil. That's it. That, that is all. Yeah, that is all, because this is the kingdom of Allah. The kingdom of Allah. It's, it's, it depends on me and you. If we have the full confidence, the full trust in Allah's plan, that's why many positions in the Quran. Allah, after the incident of the migration of Rasulullah, you know what Allah said? Allah, after Allah saved him, Allah said, They plan and Allah plans. Allah is, is the best of the planners. Subhanahu wa ta'ala. Simply because that is his kingdom. That is his kingdom. And he makes things running. Can you imagine running the whole universe from the seeds, from the drops of the rains, from the, the babies of birds, from the fish in the ocean, from babies just born from fetuses inside the wombs of the mothers, from people are working to women are cooking to our ancestors who passed away, they are in their graves, to the little insects that Allah had created, the soil, the ocean, the air, rain, clouds, mountains. When you, when you put that all together, then you hear the adhan says, Allahu Akbar. Means what? Allah is greater than all of these. At that time, you will feel the power of Allah. May Allah bless us all. Allahumma ameen. It was just a, a reflection, a reminder about the qudra of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Jazakumullah khairan. Really, I want to thank all of you. Thank Brother Aksan for the great efforts. Sister Tasnur for the, the efforts that they are doing. May Allah bless them. Allahumma ameen. Ya Rabbil Alameen. Jazakumullah khairan. Just wanted to remind you, inshallah, starting today, as we announced it, the Fajr Iqama will be 6 15. 6, 15, inshallah, instead of 6. May Allah bless you. Assalamu alaikum.